यू कोडेड द एपीआई टू सर्च फॉर फ्लाइट ऑन मेक माई ट्रिप एंड तुमने हक दिया यू कोडेड समथिंग लाइक दिस वेन एवर रिक्वेस्ट इज मेड ऑन मेक माई ट्रिप डॉट कॉम टू सर्च फॉर फ्लाइट फ्रॉम सोर्स टू डेस्टिनेशन इट लैंड ऑन द माइक्रो सर्विस कंटेनर एंड देन यू कोडेड द एलगोरिथम फर्स्ट इट फेचर द फ्लाइट फ्रॉम इंडिगो डॉट कॉम एंड देन इट फेचर द फ्लाइट फ्रॉम एयर इंडिया डॉट कॉम इन अक्वेंशियल मैनर For example, if it takes three seconds to return the data from Indigo and two seconds to return the data from Air India, the total API time would be around five seconds. The moment manager got to know about this, you were fired. Instead of calling these two APIs sequentially, let's make them in parallel. So the first call will be made at the same point of time. The second call will be made. The data from Air India will be returned in two seconds, while from Indigo will be returned in three seconds. And overall, the API response time would be three seconds. How do we do it in Java? Let me show you that. For this, I use the concept of completable futures. Completable futures does the processing in asynchronous mode, and you can configure it to wait for the response to be returned from the API. To help you understand better, I quoted thread dot data as two seconds in Air India call, and in Indigo call, I quoted it to be three seconds. Thank you. Let me understand better. As soon as the control comes over here, an API call will be made to Air India. When the control comes over here, and it will not wait for the response to be returned, it will move ahead, get flight details from Indigo. So, both of us parallel me chaliye. As soon as I write flight details from Air India dot get, it will wait for the response to be returned. Up to two seconds will elapse, and when I come over here, flight details from Indigo dot get, just one second will be lost. So, overall, the API should take three seconds.